Yo, welcome to Master 127, and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium and Duels. Uh, today's deck profile is kind of a dark magicianless deck. We're going to deal with all things fun and magical in my Spell of Magic deck. So, first on the list is Black Luster Soldier, Envy of the Beginning. By far, probably the best card in this game. Hands down, banish one light, banish one dark, you can double attack, banish. It's just a wonderful card, 3,000 attack. Uh, we're going to have Gale the Whirlwind, because it's a tuner, and again, it's just an overall really good card, because it just cuts everything in half. Uh, Blizzard Princess. Uh, I only have to just tribute one spellcaster for a 28 beater, so don't have a problem with this. Can't have to, and they can't have explored trap cards after I do that, so pretty good. One Breaker the Magical Warrior, because Breaker is a classic. It's essentially my MST for this, just in case. Uh, one Buster Blader, because this is a kind of a Yugi Moto kind of thing. And also, when I go up against Yugi Moto in the grind video, which you'll be seeing pretty soon, it's pretty awesome to have. Uh, Chaos Sorcery, again, kind of the same reason I have with uh, Black Luster, except it's a Magician, or a Spellcaster, so works pretty nice. One Copycat, just in case if like I just need to out some power, I can outpower it with that. Uh, one Crusader of Edimon, uh, it's a Gemini, however, I can always place one spell counter on him, so he can always keep getting it, and he gets 600 attack for, until the end of the turn, so it's pretty nice to have, especially with how much spell casts actually flow out throughout this deck. Uh, so it's actually pretty well, uh, and of course, you know, he turns it instantly into 24, so it's pretty good. Uh, Dark Resonator, in case I just need something to wall for a little bit, and also it just can't be destroyed by battle, you know, once per turn, so I like it. Frequency Magician, uh, again, it's kind of a spellcaster uh, with some spell counters, and it's a tuner, so this is why I kind of like that. But uh, Magical Undertaker, it's again, it's kind of a free uh, level 4 or lower summon from the graveyard, so that's why I like it. Maiden of Mal Malcarade. Uh, by far, with how much spell counters flow out through this deck, especially when you have uh, this is where I can place one spell counter, I don't have to put it on him, on a face-up card. So what you do is with uh, Crusader of Edimon is you just keep decide to putting it on Maiden of Macrobate. Man Maiden has no limit how many you use, and it gains 200 attack for each spell card. Line. So you just keep leveling up the attack, and it gets very powerful, very quick. And if not, then you, every time it destroys a monster, it also gains more. And so it just gets more powerful the, before you go on with the duel. Uh, Maiden with Eyes Blue, again, it's a spellcaster, and it's just something that also helps... Um, with kind of like walling and everything like that. It's just an, a good... I don't have it for like the blue eyes or anything like that, but it's just... Uh, Marshmallow, again, it's kind of another wall. Uh, it's just with... When it comes to this, is... In, uh, and plus, thanks, Sam. <laughs> um, in case you guys don't know, it's from Sam from Cubi Studios. This is his favorite card in the world. Um, with Marshmallow, it's again... It's... Uh, it, it's just something that I just need in case the wall, because the problem with this deck is... I could very quickly get outpowered because the magicians really need to kind of like make their own way in the world. So having marshmallows to wall, pretty nice. Uh, Shadow Priestess of Alm, I can try uh, tribute one dark monster to inflict uh, 800 for it, so it's pretty nice. Other than that, it's a uh, 700 attack, 1700 um, attack, so it's a pretty good monster overall. Uh, skilled white magicians help to bring out Buster Blader again, kind of why I run Buster Blader in this and for spell counter. Oop, oop, oop. Okay, lost my place. Uh, star drawing. Um, it's just either for ring four or ring five. I have a couple of them, and also if I do, I could draw one card. So that's nice. Uh, one the tricky. Guy love tricky because it's a, for a two thousand. You know, instant. I just have to discard a card. Pretty easy to get out. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos. I figured you know we're gonna probably have to add something in here that's dark magician related. This is about the closest I got. So there's the ritual for it. Uh, one arcane barrier. Each time I spoke. Uh, Spellcaster Monster is destroyed. I can put a spell counter on it. Max four. I can draw a card for each of it. So this is essentially my pot of greed. Uh, Black Magic Ritual again to bring out um, Magician of Black Chaos. Book of Moon because you know I'm to put some stuff face down if I don't want to. Bound one. Bound one. Gotta love it. Put Bound one on like Magician of Black Chaos or like or Chaos Source or anything like that, and you're ready to go. Uh, Dark Hole. Uh, with no Raigeki, this is about the closest thing I'll get in case I ever run into any problems. Foolish Burial. Uh, Foolish Burial is really just to put uh, monsters into the graveyard so I can get it for Black Luster or Chaos Sorcerer. So that's the only reason why it's in here. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus, in case I need to have uh, a card quickly come to me. 
Mystical Space Typhoon, two of them, just in case I need to really destroy some stuff. Uh, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Again, I like running field spells because I think it just kind of like completes some decks and stuff like that. So if I control a spellcaster and they don't, they can activate spell cards and then vice versa. But, um, if it have not, then like I can just easily like MST and just get rid of it or something like that. Uh, United We Stand again to add some more power to them. Uh, Yami, in case, in case Secret Village of the Spellcasters is something that I don't want to have. I have Yami to kind of just boost all my spellcasts by 200, so it's pretty nice. Bomba's Trap Hole to get rid of all those pesky monsters. Call the Haunted, you know, staple. Uh, compulsory Evacuation Device, just return stuff that's bothering me. Uh, magic Cylinder, because you gotta keep things magical and stuff like that. Um, then we have Magic Jammer, because in, in case I, I don't have my MST or anything like that, I just want to get rid of stuff now. Discard a card, again, for Chaos Sorcerer or Black Luster Soldier. Uh, Mirror Force, staple. Uh, Scrap Iron Scarecrow, it's just something I need to do for stall. And then Tarantula Tribute, just in case I need to wipe the field for stuff. Uh, so going on to my uh, extra deck, we have Arcanate Magician. Normally, I would really hope that this is the target for either Bound Wand or United you know, Stand, because at 400 attack, it's not that great, and even after its counters, I lose a counter. So unless I get, you know... Uh, Adimon back on it to keep giving Arcanite uh, Magician spell counters. It's not going to be that great by himself. Uh, Tempest Magician. thing I like about Tempest Magician is it just adds spell counters already. I can discard anything to place uh, spell counters on it. So if I just like, I have a useless card or something like that, discard it, put on a spell counter. And it's just, it's great. I like it. Um, the remove all spell counters is just like in case like, like I just like, all right, duel's over, time to end this thing. Use it with that. Uh, run three of them because it's again for spell counters. Need them. Number one hundred four masquerade. Three level four monsters. Again, incredibly easy to bring out. And also, it's just for them. Even if you don't decide to use it for like as other factor or anything like that, you can just send the top card of it. Just discard fodder. Like it. Uh, Giga brilliant. It's just it's my standard level uh, level three for uh, for rank up. Number thirty nine uh, utopia. It's level four. Just in case I need, I'm really not. Too big of a fan of Utopia because of his last effect, but it's alright. Uh, number 49, Fortune Tune. In case I don't want to use Giga Brilliant, I need to go on the defense. That's what I have Fortune Tune for. Uh, I have a rank up for Masquerade. Even though I don't think I can bring him out, can I? I don't have a rank up, do I? I don't have a rank up. Why, in, why is he in this? Can he rank up himself? No, he can't recover himself. Why do I have this in my deck? And then Shining Elf. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to load this real quick, and I'm going to take that out, because that's stupid. Why do I have that in here? I have nothing to level him up with. Alright, well. So, uh, that's the deck profile. And uh, we are going to get started right now with the, the grind method. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys very soon.